Also, I also had another request, which I did a review for the sequel to this movie, which I liked, but it wasn't necessarily as good as the first one. And this is a review for ITZ Auto's channel. I don't know if that, that's just how I can read it. Sorry about that. Check out his channel below. It's a great channel. Um, he suggested I do 28 Days Later, which is my absolute favorite Danny Boyle film, and is one of the very first movies that scared the living crap out of me. Uh, 28 Days Later is about uh, Jim, played by Killian Murphy, he does a fantastic job. Jim, who wakes up much like Walking Dead, which I think this is where they got their idea, because I don't remember, I think Walking Dead came out after this, I don't know. But Jim wakes up out of a coma in a hospital to find that it's in ruins. Um, London is completely desolate and there is it's trashed, and he has no idea why because he just woke up. Um, he starts exploring, finds a couple more survivors, but also finds out the world's kind of overrun by zombies, at least London is. And he meets up with a group of survivors, uh, namely Selena, who is, I don't remember her name, Naomi, some, Naomi Harris, I believe, right? Uh, she's in Pirates of the Caribbean as uh, Tia Dalma, but she does a fantastic job in this. As Selena, who's a badass, who's got a machete, and who's mostly silent and uh, heartless, cutthroat. Um, or at least you think that. And then they also meet up with a father, daughter, Frank and Hannah. Frank, played by Brendan Gleeson. I do not remember who plays Hannah. I don't think she's been anything since this, but she did a great job. Um, and then they start trying to get to this army base where everything's fine, there's no infection, whatever. Uh, Chris Frackelson, or the Ninth Doctor, <laughs> is in it as Sergeant Henry. So, I forget his last name, because no one cares. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's mostly their journey. Throughout the entire movie is their journey trying to get to this army base, but also trying to survive this crazy post-apocalypticness. That's great. I love post-apocalyptic movies. Um, 28 Days Later is really, really, really amazing. Uh, it's kind of indie. It's shot on 16mm, I believe, is what they shot it on. The last scene was shot in HD film, but they, the rest of it was 16mm, that's why the Blu-ray looks like crap. Um, get the DVD. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's brilliant. The score is absolutely fantastic. Danny Boyle, I did himself with this movie, I swear to god, this is his best thing he's ever done. And I heard he might go on to make 28 months later, hopefully he does, because I would watch it. Um, Alex Garland, I think this might have been his first screenplay, I don't know, I know he went on to write Sunshine and did that with Danny Boyle as well. Uh, but 28 Days Later is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Definitely one of my favorite zombie movies of all time. And definitely reimagined the genre itself. Um, the cinematography is great. And the, uh, the being able to shoot London, making it look desolate and isolated, for hours at a time they gotta shut down these busy streets and, uh, and bridges and stuff, and they, it's amazing. How they did it, I'm not exactly clear on. I mean, there's trivia on it online, but it's just amazing to watch just the way they did it. And it's kind of, it's pretty minimalist of a film, a small cast, um, fantastic cast, small cast, and just few, like lots of sets, but just very, you know, small. This review is kind of bad, but uh, that's the best I can use to describe 28 Days Later. It's absolutely amazing, one of the best zombie movies out there. And I'd give it a 5 out of 5 or a 10 out of 10. I freaking love this movie. I love this movie. Please check out 28 Days Later. It's absolutely, it's almost perfection. It's almost a perfect movie in my opinion. So yes, 28 Days Later is great. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Go check out this guy's channel in the link below, down there. And uh, keep suggesting movies because I'll get to them at some point or other. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.